Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and this is finally my thrift haul so I will share with you everything I bought for the current season everything has been bought second hand and as I said in the title not everything turned out quite as well as I hoped so I will leave to the end a couple of items that didn't really work out and I will explain why and I hope to give you a couple of tips and tricks on how to avoid that when you're buying second hand especially if you're buying online Starting from the items that I'm the most excited about and this is this skirt from Isabel Moran. Now I did absolutely fell in love with Isabel Moran as a brand in the last, I think in the last year. I think that their designs are absolutely brilliant, I love them. The problem for me is just that they are a little bit too much over the top for my personal taste. So it took me quite a while to find the right style. Also, to be fair, it's not a brand that I was very comfortable in trying on new. And that's because, uh, uh, first of all, it's very, very expensive. Secondly, uh, because uh, this is something that uh, I've heard very discordant reviews about. I've seen more than one person that was saying that the quality was not always on point, which for me is unacceptable if you are spending that much money on something. So I wanted to test it before, but also I wanted to be sure that what I was buying was uh, on point quality wise. Also, she does honestly produce in high risk country. My uh, skirt is made in India and I didn't find enough information about their ethical standards to be comfortable in buying from her new. Now, with that I'm not saying that she's producing unethically, I cannot say that because I simply did not find the information, which can also mean that she produces fantastically, she just didn't disclose that. But I do prefer to be safe than sorry and uh, not to buy directly from the brand in this situation. So because of that, it took me very long time before finding the right item that I want. And then I found this skirt and I absolutely, absolutely fell in love because it's a pattern that I love, but also it's so thick that you don't really even notice. The like you see that there is a pattern, but you don't see specifically what pattern. Also, despite the fact that it's a very loud skirt but uh, it's grey and red so it works quite well with almost everything I have to be fair apart from a couple of items but it works fantastically with everything uh, it is in uh, cotton so it's um, very light and breathable and it is double line which is fantastic for a skirt that has uh, uh, white as a base because uh, white in summer can be quite tricky, it's quite showy but uh, in this case it doesn't show any, uh, sorry, anything even if I have black underwear because it's double lined and there is so much frizz going on. I would suggest you if you are thinking of buying something like this I would absolutely recommend it, I love this skirt, I already used it a ton, it's fantastic uh, consider to size a little bit up and that's because uh, this skirt in its original size is incredibly short so if you want something that is a little bit more versatile then don't buy a mini skirt that is like a proper mini skirt because then you cannot really wear it everywhere and in my case I'm not even very comfortable uh, but also because of all the rouging here even uh, if you buy it bigger and you need to like pin it a little bit uh, you don't really see it. So the second item is more all year round item and is uh, this cardigan from Giambattista Valli and I love the fact that it is a peplum cardigan because in this way first of all if you wear it with a very simple outfit which is what I wear almost all the time let's be honest uh, the peplum style adds a lot more of interest so it's uh, even if you are basically wearing just a t-shirt jeans and cardigan but it is uh, way more interesting than uh, uh, having like you know the normal long chunky cardigan that I wear also uh, because it's a peplum, it's a very feminine style, it really like make you look kind of like um, hourglass shape even if you don't have a hourglass shape like I don't so in that sense it's very nice but also it works fantastically with dresses and with more formal outfits so for me this is something that doesn't uh, only work all year round because uh, it's a very uh, light uh, wool so it really works all year round but also it works with everything I have really and it solved me a lot of problems in understanding how to pair my dresses with so 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 happy I found it it was a little bit of an investment but I super worth it and then here is where the things start to be a little bit more tricky and 
these are a pair of shirts from I think Philip Lim yes I actually didn't even know who he was before buying the shirts so these are the shirts and generally speaking these are exactly what I wanted if you've seen my summer preparation you know that I was looking for a pair of short trousers that I would have been able to use uh, uh, also in the office now in that sense these work perfectly I love like the uh, paper uh, shape here now uh, they of course need to have a belt and they came with a belt that has the same stripe uh, um, texture of the shirts I don't really like them uh, like the belt so I do use them with a normal belt and it works fantastically I think they uh, they work very nice because they're very they look very put together because as I said it's actually a pair of short trousers and they are like very high waisted so they look very nice and they have like this paper shape that is uh, very very interesting the only problem I would say is that the color is wrong so <laughs> When I bought them, I thought that the stripes were black. When I found, when I opened them, I found out that the stripes are actually green. And here is my tip for you, my friends. When you're buying something secondhand, especially if you're buying it uh, online, you need to consider that the people that have taken the pictures are not professionals, neither a professional photographer or the majority of them, they are not a professional shop. So they don't know what they're doing basically and what happens a lot of time is that they take the picture in the wrong light and especially color that can look similar normally like blue and black black and brown black and deep green like in this case they tend to look exactly the same so always double check what color it is check the description if the description doesn't say what color it is ask it and try to pay attention to the lights in the picture so if you see that the uh, it's a very dark light or even worse if you perceive that the light is yellow then try to ask them a close-up of the color in a natural light so that you are sure of what color it is because and then finally and that's really my crux and that's really what didn't work out is this pair of pants here now this really makes me sad because this was something that I was really looking for and that I really miss in my wardrobe. I had uh, like several pair of these kind of like beige cotton trousers that they all they all don't fit me anymore so I had to give them away and I was looking for another pair. The problem is that they don't fit me. So again my friend when you're buying uh, a pair of trousers second hand especially if it is a fitted trousers like this one you need to check the measures and with that I'm not saying only I think that the majority of people like I did check only like the hip measure and then the length that's not enough what you need to check also is first uh, what is the length between uh, uh, the hip and the crotch that's very very important especially when the when the trousers are stiff if they are proper trousers these are stiff trousers so they don't adjust in the same way in which a pair of elastic jeans for example would work out so the measures need to be right so check this also for the length especially if you're on the tall side ask if they have the extra fabric that you can see here this is very helpful in my case I'm very short so it doesn't matter but if you are a tall person chances are that you will need some extra centimeter and if there is this extra uh, fabric here then you can easily make them longer and adjust to yourself even if when they come they are not the right size so that's again another important thing to check and the last thing to check is how large they are on the ties and that was exactly my problem on the ties they are too too tight so they are not comfortable I can't really sit comfortable in them and that is a very big problem if you have a desk job in which you're sitting all day so that's why I can't use them. Now the problem with them is that when you're buying from Vestier be very careful about these things because you can't return the item. What you can do if it, if it doesn't fit you can relist it without fee. So in my case for example I relist it it will be sold for the same amount I bought it for but uh, uh, I won't pay like the uh, sell fee on them which is already something. The problem is that if you're buying a pair of trousers, as I was saying, not many people buy them secondhand, so you will risk to do like I am. I am stuck with this pair of trousers, basically, until someone will be so kind to buy them. But yeah, be careful with that. Be sure to check all the measures you need to check because 
you can find very good deals but you need to be very sure that they will work out for you. Of course, this won't be the same for all pair of trousers. So for example, if you buy like a very large pair of pants then it's not the same because normally once you check like the hip, it should be enough. But for skinny jeans, fitted trousers, anything that is supposed to be fit, you need to be sure that it fits. And that's my tip for you. And that's it for today. This is not everything I bought for summer, I will be honest. Um, I bought a couple, not that many more, a couple of uh, uh, things that I actually bought new but I will put them in a different video because these are all things that I bought from ethical brands so I would like to spend a little bit more words on the brands themselves so that uh, if you decided to buy something from a more ethical and sustainable brand so you have a little bit uh, an idea of what can be out there and what are my opinion on what I have bought so I leave this to another video if you're interested in that please stay tuned and if you arrived till here as always thank you so much for watching and see you next time bye